What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with George George. On today's episode, we've got a huge adventure planned, and you all get to come with us, so stay tuned. All right, first things first, again, I'm back in Walmart early in the morning, back in Walmart, got to upload a video, and I'm also looking for stuff for Baron because he is starting to teeth, so we're going to get him some teething stuff, and I'm also going to get him some of those... Uh, binkies that have the mesh so that he could eat fruit and stuff because he's loving loving gnawing on fruit it's absolutely adorable how much he drooled he like bites for it so i'm looking for those and i don't see them which is kind of weird but i'm gonna keep looking all right there we go this is what i'm talking about he is gonna absolutely love this all right finally just got done at walmart i don't know what happened but sometimes when i'm uploading a video it was like almost done but if i'm walking around it'll like switch routers because obviously walmart's so big they have to have more than one router and when that happens, it literally stops all progress and it has to restart. So I was literally 90% done uploading this video and I had to restart from the beginning. So it's been like an hour and a half, almost two hours. Everybody's frustrated with me. Luckily, we do have our second car. So they're already there, but they're waiting for me. So I've got to go, go, go. Let's go. I love seeing these birds just walking around. The sounds they make is absolutely nuts. All right, so I just made it, and this is the showcase of Citrus. There's so much to do, so much to see. The family's inside waiting for me. We're actually getting on that monster truck here in a second, but I gotta show you all these cool animals and just how beautiful this entire park is. And all of this is free until you pay to get on the truck or pay to get something to eat and all that stuff. But all of these animals, you can come and look at them and play with them and talk to them. If you wanna feed them, there's buckets of food. This giant gorilla is great for taking pictures. Supposedly there's alligators but I have yet to see one here in Florida in the wild. There's signs everywhere. I see geese. Check out the size of that. I don't think this is a real, this looks like a megalodon, a little megalodon. It's missing a bunch of teeth. Any gators in this water? Of course not, of course not. Let's continue this tour. Check out this giant, giant zoo that they got here. All kinds of beautiful animals. And we'll take a closer look at these a little bit later after I get on this ride absolutely gorgeous so many big pigs and turkeys and donkeys you can feed the animals of course and on this side they have looks like a kangaroo over there oh i'm gonna be late that's okay i've got to show you the kangaroo he's just snapping it is hot it is a hot one today there you are beautiful and there's more kangaroo and there's giant emus over here and of course the simpsons who wouldn't want the simpsons at their attraction Look at the size of that capybara. Just chilling in there. Capybaraing. There you are. Look at that beautiful thing. World's biggest rodent right there. And this thing also sports the world's biggest monster truck, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna get on that here in just a second. Check out everything they have to offer here. The world's largest 4x4s on the 2,500 acres. The U Pick Citrus, which is pretty super cool in my opinion. Fresh and healthy juices and creamsicles, homestyle jams and jellies, the gem mine, which the kids love, you know that. Local beer, farm fresh honey, and exotic jerky. Check that out. This dinosaur is just looking for a meal. Look at that thing. This one's smart, it's staying away. Look at it, picking up something. Looks like a banana peel. Just scarfed it all, the whole thing. Peeling all, huh? Guess that's the way to do it. Check it out, they've got food trucks, and over here they've got this giant tractor and all of these attractions for your kiddos. And there's the gem mine, you take your gem bag that you buy from the store inside and you bring it to this, and you let the water wash out all the dirt, and you're more than likely going to find some gems. Every bag is a winner, and depending on the one that you buy, you can get even more cool gems. I like the Pater one, they've got some pretty, pretty gems on there. There's the emerald strike, and of course, in the mother load, you get the best stuff, supposedly, and you can even find arrowheads and teeth and shells and fossils and all kinds of cool stuff. Here's a better look of what you can find and get. And here's where they actually come from. That's pretty neat. I've never seen a place with stuff like that. And once again, all the attractions are free, except for the uh, monster truck ride. Your kids can come and play in this giant park over here. You can go through all the shops for free. You can even check out their grove, but I don't think you can pick anything without paying for it. Well, I, I bet you can, but you shouldn't. But check it out, they've got this giant indoor area. And this place is absolutely packed. Oh, there's some lizards. What a cutie pie. They have all kinds of animals here. At least they have alligator relatives. 
and then this giant playground of all kinds of toys and goodies to play with. Check out the big feet. That's more like it. Where that's what we're getting on. Right there, those big old jeeps. All right, we made it. We made it on the big monster truck. Say goodbye. Everybody's here. That's awesome. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. You can go over them, right? What? You don't have to stop, <laughs> just go over. Woo! Very beautiful. Tons to do, tons to see, but let's see if there's any gators in the pond. <laughs> yep, nothing. Big old snakes. There's one. It's a big one. And of course it's fake. See, they're all fake. Look at the gator. 2,000 acres we're talking about. That's where we have our cattle and a couple other businesses. Okay? So as you came off of 27 down this dirt road, everything on this side, so we go back up around the corner, this is called our U pit. Oh, okay. That means if you're in the winter, you can actually come out and pick your own citrus off the trees. Citrus is a winter fruit. Anything you saw in the store all summer and fall is coming from either Chile or Brazil. Okay. Right? Our summers are in winter and vice versa. Come out here and pick it with us. We do have 40 different types of citrus on property. Everything from kumquats, lemons, limes, tangerines, tangelos, honey bells, early times, ruby reds, navels. I do not know all 40. I drive a truck. <laughs> um, sir, where are the kumquats? I've never had one before and I want to eat one finally. Right up there. Okay. You gotta have a long arm to grab it. Thank you. Now I'm gonna jump out of the window. Oh no. You're one of my favorites. Uh, currently, right now, we are picking the pineapple orange. Ooh, that's where they're trying to go out there. They're taking Get it off your hand. The pineapple orange. Anybody pick this morning? I don't think so. I was no. driving that out there. No, I'm right, gonna where that is once we get out there. Orange. The pineapple orange, I have not had one. I think one of the best uh, citrus yeah, 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 yeah. in the place because I do eat a lot of citrus. Can we get off and pick one? Can we get off and pick one? Yeah. Um, well, you come off and then go pick it. But not on the tree. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, all after. It's like okay. a uh, porta cocktail on a tree. You just need to pick that and add some rum to it, right? Heck yeah. Pineapple orange is the flavor profile that you're tasting when you're eating it. Um, when you come out here to pick it with us or any other grove, this is typically the color you're going to see. Um, you can see a lot of green, yellow, very little orange on it. Okay? The reason why they look like this is all citrus is green. It's a plant. It's covered in chlorophyll, right? So what happens to us at the end of the year, we get this cold snap that comes through. It reminds us this winter for Colorado. Two days later, it warms back up. Okay, it's not cold long enough here to call the chlorophyll. As the chlorophyll dies, it goes from green to yellow to orange. Okay, orange does not mean it's ripe, it just means that it's dead. Yep. What makes it ripe, what we consider ripe, is when it goes from bitter to sweet and juicy, right? For that, it needs to be on a tree for at least six months. If it dies on a tree at four months, it's not going to make it sweet. It's just going to make it orange. You follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. okay. Come out here, you're not looking for the color of the fruit on the tree, you're looking for the weight. You want to reach up and grab it. If it is a heavy orange with a little bit of squeeze on it, that means it's ripe. All you want to do is roll it up towards the branch and it comes right off. Yes, yeah, If it is a lightweight light orange and very hard, it doesn't matter what the color is, that means it's not ripe. Do this and the tree's going to fight you for it. It's not going to let it go. Okay? So I'll pass this one around. You can feel this one. This one. You blow your mind because you're thinking this one's not right until you feel how heavy it and the squeeze that that has, right? Very cool. There's another one. This is a little, but it still has the same, right? It's a different color, but you can still feel the same on that as the other one. So it's a little squeeze. When you go grocery shopping, it looks all different, right? It looks completely different. It looks like a perfect orange. How they do that is they take it off the tree about three to four weeks before it becomes ripe. They ship it to the grocer. It's still green. That grocer receives those and they gas them for two to three days in what's called ethylene gas. Ooh. The reason why they're gassing it is humans we buy with our eyes, we're visual, right? If you saw that get orange one in the grocery store next to one of these green and yellow ones, you're not going to think the green and yellow one is right. Mm. Okay? After that third day, it turns all completely orange. What they do is they put a red citrus dye on the outside, wax it, and stick it in a red bag. Okay? Putting it in a red bag makes it appear even more orange, and you can test that by putting lemons in the same bag. It kind of gives an orange hue around the outside. Hmm. Huh. Okay? Not saying it does anything to the fruit or anything's wrong with it. I'm just saying when you go shopping, you got to be like, right, i got to touch everything. You follow up. You're looking for that heavy orange, not the green orange. Uh -huh. So I'll have that pretty orange go home, and you open it up. 
is dry on the inside? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it breaks Ugh. apart every time. So if, if you have an orange tree at home and, and, and they become green, that's when you want to get them? And you feel like that. Oh, and you feel heavy. Yep. So uh, we all have that pretty orange and get home and open it up and it's dry on the inside. How do you think that it's healthy? It's not old. They took it too early Which one's off right? the tree. The heavy one. Yeah. The tree also just when it ripens, that fall break down to the side and makes it look like All right, guys, any questions about the citrus? Geez, both of these are hard. Right, both of those are hard. Let me pull this up a little bit. So we can get around oh, the other truck's coming. Pretty cool showdown. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no, he's got a big feet. These things are awesome. Check out the size of those pineapple oranges. We'd love right, to get so out here and pick some. Little well, bears on this tour. All right, there we go. We're entering Bigfoot territory. Or big feet. There's one. Just like the Florida Gator, they're all fake. I put on the harness in hopes of catching me a baby squash, but instead I gotta carry this little guy around. There it is right there. Oh man, these are the most easily to spot Bigfoot ever. Yeah, big smile on his face. There's animals all over this place if you just look. All right, this looks like gator territory. There's a turtle. No gators. Check it out. They got zebra all the way over there. Very cool. Get a buffalo to that guy. Just sitting there. Somebody wants to become steaks. There's two of them in the room. And that tire is bigger than the bison. <laughs> so all of our animals out here back at the farmhouse, they're all rescued and refarmed animals. That's how we get them. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about the ones I know. There's a bison sitting right in front of us. Her name is Thelma. That is her sister, Louise. Okay. She always does this to me in front of the road and will not let me pass until I throw her. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, she's rolling around. Feed me. There it is. When I come back around, she'll walk over here and stand in the road. She'll catch me right here. The other drivers, when they're near, they just laugh at me. They just jump to them. I go out and find 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 them. I pick anything up off the ground. I'm going right here. Maybe she likes you. Yeah. So bison do really well in Florida. Um, they still get about five feet tall, the females, and about 1,500 pounds. Wow. So this is their winter coat. Okay, right now, that's, we just grew that in October. When they, they shed it, bolt it off, it looks more like a cow. This is Joe. Joe's our camel. Joe Campbell, that's right. He's about 19 months. He'll come over, he'll walk around. He's the one I was telling you. He wanted to feed him. Don't throw the food down, make him look up, and you can be down and take it out of your hand. Here he comes. Hey, you guys want to feed him a carrot, maybe? Yes, I want to. He's coming to my carrot! Can I beat it? Oh. Hey. Oops. I hit the baby with my head and then I hit the horse with my head. Uh oh. 
You said hey and it looked and you threw it past it. Hey. Yeah, big old water buffalo over there. The camel's right here. That is too cool. Really hand feeding this camel. Just wait for it to come to you. Check it out. They got a long horn as well. Check out those horns. Those things are massive. Here comes the goat. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Those horns are crazy. Hello, Joe. Alright, there you go, Joe. That's the big carrot, huh? Mm. That's the one he's been waiting for. Dang, did you hear that crunch? <laughs> Careful, they spit. If you don't give them a carrot, they spit at you. Go ahead, Yazzy. She's so skeptical. Oh, Jax. Wow, that's a oh, lot. Oh, yeah, give him a whole handful. Go ahead. Look at his feet. They're very gentle. <laughs> See those big lips? They're very precise at grabbing just the carrot. Oh, here's a banana, buddy. Banana. I want a banana. Banana buffalo? Oh, he ran away from the banana. There you go, Ev. Good job. Look at, all, look at this huge carrot. Uh oh. Did he swallow that thing whole? You want to feed the camel no, There you go. You got it? You got it? Look at those lips go. Jazzy, you want to get it? Look at that distinct line. You can see how far those things go underwater. That thing was almost fully submerged. I'd be surprised if its head was even above water. All the algae growing on its back or it pulled it from the, uh, the lake there. Check out the tree that grew around the car. Life finds a way. That's awesome. And that big ball out there. I wonder if they play with it. I'd love to see that. Big spider. Good thing the kids didn't see it. They're all over here checking out this side. There we go. There's Cotton Eye Joe. That's where he went. That's where he came from and that's where he goes. Oh, he's got a pet bear. Or badger. These are their old tour vehicles right here. And there's the skull of Goliath. And a wolf in the tree. Beautiful kids. That's Evelyn's best friend, Evelyn, for anybody that's wondering. And she's hugging on Yazzie. Such a cutie pie. Yeah, there's a lot of animals. We have mom, dad, big brother, and baby brother. Okay. Being in a monster truck makes it really easy to find a female zebra because they have two rows of dots down their spine. Oh yeah, right there. If you see the one that has wow. two rows of dots, the guys are like dashes. With Mom's over here in the back, right? Yeah. Now, are they yeah. white with black stripes or are they black with white stripes? Oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> so you got mom, then dad is the next one. Little baby brother's closest to us, and then big brother's the one in the back over here. You got mom from a local attorney. Thought it'd be a great idea to have a pet zebra. Nope. Uh, the only problem with that, zebra can be tamed or domesticated. They're highly aggressive animals. Oh, yeah, they bite really bad. Yeah, they attack humans, animals, anything around them. That's why wow. they, have they have a vicious kick. They've been known to wow. wreck lions. Once we got mom, we put out the video. We're trying to find another one since she wasn't alone. That's how we got the ranch. <laughs> okay. Yep. So we named mom the reason you don't see a lot of zebra toys. Okay, it's hard to find a barcode on a zebra. Barcode. <laughs> Dad's name is Stan. Oh yeah, you see where this is going? Stan yes, sir. Scanned it. Oh my goodness, the baby's name is Receipt. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Everybody on this tour is getting something to eat. <laughs> oh, I caught you, yeah. Hello. Mr. Mister, look at your cute little bib. All the animals. You prepared for this. You might see dinosaur on this tour, you never know. So I was wondering how fast these zebra go, because you could see all the track marks out there from them running. It's quite insane. Is this cool or what, buddy? What have you learned so far? A literal ton of information. 
What did you learn about the different types of honeys that they have here? Orange yep. Are you so excited to try that sop? Sop palmetto? Yeah, it sounds I super try good. The I definitely do too. You want to make some orange blossom rotisserie chicken like he was saying? Heck yeah. Do you remember how many acres they have here? I think he said 70, 7,000. I think 7,000. It's only 5,000? That's insane. I was gonna say. <laughs> and they got a whole African safari here. Uh oh, that zebra is in trouble. <laughs> Check it out. Wow, we're all huddled in one spot. I wonder what's so good about this spot. Look at all the guys. The little mushroom village. Oh, and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and some unicorns. All right, one last look at this giant lake. Supposedly alligator infested. I see turtles swimming happily. Predator free. This beautiful little zoo they got here with all the different animals. Good thing we kept some of those carrots and stuff because all these little animals look hungry. We're going to feed as many as we can, especially them big old pigs. Those things. There's a bigger one somewhere. Where's he at? Oh, there it is laying under the thing. That thing is massive. The little chickens are so cute. There's the other big pig right on the other side of that cow. Just lounging in that muck. How adorable. Oh, there you go. I didn't mean to embarrass you. You're allowed to just stay there. Please do. Cool off. It's pretty hot today. And they're saying there should be alligators popping up because this is the third warm day that they've had, but didn't see a single one yet. But we're going to check the other lake on the other side and see if we get lucky. Doubt it, though. They're imaginary. Let's ask Baron if he thinks the gators are real or fake. Baron, are the gators real? There you have it folks, and he knows best. Just over my shoulder here, you can see they're setting up for a birthday party, so you can even come and have your birthday party, which is pretty, pretty neat. Over here, they've got this, the rest of the park that you guys can see, and these giant dinosaurs, and some more swamp lands, and a big lake right over there by those tiki huts, which I might take a, take a second to go check out. I don't see the kids or the family because they're waiting for me. I should probably get going. Be warned though, it does smell like a farm or a zoo. So if you don't like the smell of farms or zoos, you might not enjoy this place so much, but it is absolutely gorgeous today. Love being out. Thank goodness we got out. Got it out at Walmart. Oh my goodness, it's taking too long nowadays. But it's still faster than the internet I have. So I'm not gonna complain too, too much. And I'm right alongside this lake that they have here. I'm still not seeing any gators and it is hot. They should be surfacing all the time around here. I see turtles, I see lots of turtles. But not a single gator, how disappointing. What is happening? Maybe they're not attracted to me. They just don't wanna be filmed. That's gotta be what it is. They don't wanna be on taking a risk, which I can understand. Sometimes I don't wanna be on taking a risk, but here I am day after day for you guys, cause I love you. I hope you love us back. If you do, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on all notifications. This is a good time to do it. And don't forget in the comment section below, let me see if you've ever seen a live gator. And don't forget also to check down in the description below. We do have all our other links for our Instagram, our Facebook, our TikTok. Make sure you go over there and follow as well. It really will help us grow, grow, grow. And that's our plan for this year is to grow as big as these palm trees that are growing behind us. We gotta touch the sky someday. So please, if you're not gonna do it for me, do it for the kids. Do it for the kids, they need it. Check out a behind the scenes sneak of where the actual animal feed is made right here. $10 a bucket, that's not bad. And then they've got all kinds of juicers and all kinds of goodies to check out. Look, they even have a Zoltar. How cool is that? I wish I was big. All right, now.
now that we're done with the uh, big monster truck, we're actually going to take the kids out. We're going to go pick some of these citruses. So we're super excited to go do that. So come with us. I want to get some pineapple. I know. I'm super excited to get some. And they have kumquats here. Yes. I want to pick a kumquat. Oh, what? What's your favorite fruit? Uh, There's our other one. <laughs> You're such a cucumber, did you know that? She's so sweet. Yeah. All right, we finally made it out here. We're in the grove. Looking around, there's so many beautiful trees to pick from, but there are some rules. You do not want to break any of the branches because these trees do take a long time to grow and they will not grow back if you break them. It hurts the tree. Whatever you pick, you have to keep. So we're being very specific about the ones you want to pick because you want to get the ones that are fat and heavy. Green doesn't matter. You don't want them to be all green, but green is how they're supposed to look according to everybody here. The ones that you see at the store that are orange or very brightly orange are made to look that way because they're more appealing to us. But you definitely want to find ones that are nice and heavy and they should give off of the tree when you just reach up and grab them. They shouldn't, the tree should not fight you for them. That's what they were saying. You want to find ones that are, let's see, Jackson might have gotten one. Does it feel heavy? Let me, let me see. Let me reach my hand in there. Oh yeah, that feels heavy. So he said push it up and then pull it down. It should come right off. Nope. See, the tree's fighting me. So that one's not ready. I wonder what these little ones are. So all of these are pineapple oranges, which I don't know if I've ever had one. If you've ever had one, drop it in the comment section below. Let me know what they taste like. Mom's over here. You find some? Cool. Uh oh, a little warning for the travelers out here. Apparently this stuff bites. Whatever this stuff is, the honey just walked into it and it bit her toe. Let me see, are you bleeding? No, I'm not bleeding, but ooh. But it's really itchy, huh? Yes. Uh oh, you might have had an allergic reaction to whatever that stuff is. I'm not sure. It looked, I thought it was cilantro at first from a distance, but getting a closer look, it definitely does not look like that. We'll have to ask on our way back. And we still haven't found a single orange to pick yet. This one looks like it's full of good ones, but this is still close to the front. And rule of thumb is, this is where everybody gets dropped off. You have to take a trolley out here like we did. So if everybody gets dropped off here, probably all of these oranges have been touched a hundred times today alone and you know this place is open i believe seven days a week so you gotta go where nobody has gone that's a psa on tar all right the honey's over here re 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 reaching with the tool is it coming off no that's not ready either are you sure any of them are ready because that one looks good I, I know they look fantastic let's see this little one right here this is super light there's almost no weight to this one and it definitely is not coming off huh i wonder if we're gonna fill our bag up we may have came at the wrong time. That one looks good up there. Not Try the one right above your head. The, right above. Right here? No, no, no. To, yeah, forward a little bit. Right here. Claw machine. No, right. to your right. Okay. Right up. Straight up. Oh, oh Straight up. You got it, short stuff? This one? Well, the one next to it, but that one might be it too. Oh, this one. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. That was a, a talk to talk to claw machine right there you got it you oh. missed oh, I'm not gonna get my money back for this there we go oh that one's a he's a fighter Stick on. oh here maybe I should try all right dad's turn to try and reach for this orange and see if it's ready Let's see. Oh, I can't wait to try a you think he can get it oh that one definitely is a fighter I, oh, you lost it too! No, I don't think it's ready either. Wow, yeah, that one had some real good recoil. Good bounce back. back. I can see one. Way over here. And it's kind of low. Oh! <gasps> that one definitely came off. That fish was already broken when we got here. Well, this is our first orange. Hopefully it's a good one. Is it heavy? Yes. Yes, that one definitely is heavy, so hopefully it'll taste good. All right, Jackson right, found a some. Bunch under there. They Jackson, just start picking ones. them up. See if they come off gently. Tug on them a little bit. Nope. nope. Try the one that's all the way by the big trunk. See it? Yeah. You're the only one of us that could fit in there right now. 
Is that one ready? That one's not good. All right. Oh, man. What is happening here? I don't know. All right, Dad's going in for our second one. When we were on the uh, big old monster truck tour, he showed he showed us pictures of what happened when it hailstormed over here, and apparently the oranges got nicked, but it doesn't affect the fruit in any way, shape, or form. It's just like a scar on your body. It doesn't affect who you are. It's just a scar. And the scars remind us that the past was real. Oh. No, still not wanting to come off. What is going on? I have no clue. I don't know if we're being too gentle or if these things are just not ready. Maybe these ones on the ground are ready. <laughs> this has to come off. I'm looking at that really big fat one right there. Let's see if I can claw my way up there. Oh yeah, I see it. You think he can get it? You got it? Oh yes. Yes. Oh. There we go. That one came off very easily. Check it out, folks. In the baggie. That is a beautiful one. Wow. Oh, wow. Feel the weight on that softball. <laughs> and as you can see, it's still partially green, and that's okay. They were saying the green ones are good. Look at it. They only turn orange because they spray them with ethylene gas. That's so And they so put them cool. in orange bags and all kinds of crazy stuff. And they put wax on them. They even dye them a little bit. So these are fresh picked oranges that are ready to go. Or else we wouldn't be out here. They wouldn't let you come out here and pick unripe oranges. Oh. All right. That one's probably ready if I have a good Oh, yeah. That was a gentle pull. Came right off. Right up. I like Can you see it? Oh. No, smell it. Smell it. Take a whiff of that, boy. Yeah. All right, it's Jackson's turn. I'm gonna try to get in here. Close it. Snatch it. You gotta pull one hand. There you go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That one fell, so that one's ready to oh. go. Grab that one. Hurry. Cool. Right there, that, one right there. that little one. Let me see. Smell it. Smells good. Good. All right, folks, check this out. Each tree has its own water line, which means it all gets irrigated separately, which is great. All the trees get enough water that they need. And the cool thing about it is these lakes are where they get their water from. So they don't even have to import any water or anything like that. They don't have to spend any extra water, any extra money on water. Everything is local, which is great for this place. Check it out, folks. Jackson found a blossom flower. But not only that, look at these little oranges. They look like key limes. How cool. Check out all of those. My goodness. And each one of these takes at least six months, they are saying, to ripen fully. If you don't let them ripen fully, they will never ripen fully. Look at that little caterpillar dangling there for dear life. So that's pretty neat. If you pick them before they're ripe, they will never ripen fully. Check this out, folks. What is going on here? And check out all the beetles that are inside of it, too. They are eating the heck out of whatever that is. I thought that was a mushroom. That one, to me, up there looks like a mushroom. But then I saw this one, and I was like, I have no clue. Check out the size of this big old green one. Like I was saying earlier, the green ones are not ripe and they never will be if you pick them. So you have to let those continue to grow. But hopefully in a couple months, that one will be ready for somebody to enjoy because that is a beautiful fruit. All right, we got Yazzie on the uh, reacher there. It's kind of hard to manage. Get that little one. Give it a good try, cutie pie. <laughs> She's fighting that branch. All right, let's try this. Here, let's back up just a little bit. There we go. Guide you in. All right, give her a tug. Let's see if we got it. You got it. Nice job. That one came off super easy. Way to go, girls. That one was easy. Yeah, here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Hold that. Let her smell it. Good job. Ew, that one doesn't smell good? Yeah. She said, ew. Let mommy sniff. Ew. Has no smell. Yeah. It's alright. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a plant. I mean, not oh. oranges. Just like, I don't know, a plant. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Feeding the goats and the little miniature horse. Look at him begging. Look at that. Alright, Jackson wanted to go feed the little pony. Look how cute. 
Oh my gosh, look at this fat pot belly pig. Wow, that thing is huge. Look at his belly's growing on the ground. Look at this little turkey. Go, 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 Trying to marinate him up for Thanksgiving, but he's not having it. He didn't want any of your carrots. Too healthy. Oof, look at this pig. He's struggling to get out. Oh, fat pig over there. Look at him. Look at him. He's been eating a lot. Alright, the pig got up. They're feeding him. But Yazzie's loving the pig. Look. Uh oh, he's peeing. Oops. <laughs> All right, y'all. He was just rolling in the mud, and I missed him. Pew, that stinks. But that is one fat little pig, and he is loving his mud bath. Wow, that's a another fat little piggy wiggly. Look at him. He just a waddling over here. Look at him. This little scavenger too. Oh, hello. We've got the chicken and the capybara. Here comes the emu. And the emu. Put your hands in. Uh oh, he's coming. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, 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 look at that. Look how close. Woo! Yazzie, yeah, be very careful. Check out the Honey House and General Store. This season's local farm fresh selection, healthy and naturally and sweet. You guys are gonna have to come and check this out. They do offer samples as well. This place is beautiful. And also, they do have a bar for anybody that wants to drink. And trust me when I tell you, these are absolutely delicious. They help get you through, especially when you got a bunch of kids. Then in here, they've got a store filled with all kinds of goodies. Look at this, we found Allie who is actually a willing participant on the channel and she would love to show all the different types of drinks that they showcase here. This place, uh oh, you gotta get that call? Let me go get that call. Alright, I'll, I'll do my best to fill in for Allie. <laughs> Alright, so she was telling me they used to have 180 different varieties of drinks. Look at that, they have banana. Oh my goodness, she was saying they had pickle, they have bacon, all different kinds. Shirley Temples, that's the kids' favorite. And this is just one side of it. All right, all right. I think I covered hey. this side, but if there's anything I missed no. that you want to point out, no, feel free. No, this used to be completely filled. I'm that is absolutely of, nuts. Yeah, I'm in the process of restocking everything. So hopefully in the next coming weeks, this will once again be filled. Heck yeah. But we have some of the craziest flavors I think I have ever heard you of. You are not lying. Uh, one of them being enchilada. Enchilada? Mustard, which is not my favorite. So oh, honest, Lord one's almighty. One's corn, which one's the best one? The best one is going to be ranch. Ranch? We don't have it right okay, now. Okay, so I've heard a lot of oh, people say like ranch flavored shots are delicious and stuff like Ew, that. No, this no. Is, <laughs> this, no, no, no. The smell, the, the smell when you crack that open, it's it's enough pretty, to, it's, for you to say no. It's oh enough. my goodness! It's, it's enough to just be like okay. I hate everything. So why are those ones on top? Uh, because they sell the best. No way! Oh, because yeah, people right. like the novelty of yeah, them. I well, bet. Okay, okay. We're out of ranch. Do you guys have ketchup flavored? No, we do not. Oh, my brother-in-law loves you know, ketchup. I don't even think we do have ketchup uh, candy canes. Oh, oh. We, we have ketchup candy canes. We have gravy. We have pickle. If, if that if, is uh, too yeah. cool. Some of them are really good. Like these flavors are some of my personal favorites. All of these Avery ones. Okay. So, oh, like, look, they have unicorn like kitty, magic. Yeah, that one's good. That's honeydew. Oh wow. But like this is kitty piddle. It's, oh no! It's pineapple orange. Oh wow, that so sounds actually, phenomenal. So it's actually really good. What's Zombie going? brain juice it says it right here. It's gonna be strawberry orange. Ooh. Oh, alien snot, kiwi, and blue rubber. That's yeah, nice. alien snot, always a good one. Do you guys ever do flavor tastings? Um, not particularly of these, but we have had people <laughs> many times. They'll get a six pack. They'll crack oh, them open right on our desks, and they'll all try them. Oh, that's and we'll, smart. And we'll film them, and it's super fun. We did that yeah. at the uh, World of Coke in Disney Springs. We tried oh. all the Cokes from all yeah, the world. Yeah, oh, that was a lot of fun. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Allie. You've yeah. been a wonderful host. We really appreciate no problem, it. and I hope you guys come back, because we're going to have pickle. We're going to have bacon. We're going to have all those classic flavors. Wonderful. Um, but right now, we have celery and chocolate and black olive. Oh, I'll try the black olive for the sure. The black olive isn't bad. One of my oh, coworkers, nice. We cracked that open, and one of my coworkers hates it, and I... 
think it's delicious. Oh, it's nice. Sweet. It's like a sweet oh, okay. olive, but it's not. I like it. I, I like good. olives. We love olives. My so definitely. personal favorite, if you're looking to yes. kind of jazz it up, is coffee. Oh, wow. So everybody always wants to put the root beer with our yes. vanilla frozen yogurt. Put coffee with it. Make like a coffee. See, float. that's I knew as soon as I walked in, I knew you were the person to talk to. You're the one. Absolutely wonderful, folks. Definitely so yeah, come and check it out. You like with our oh my and goodness! I know we sell them uh, not refrigerated. Not refrigerated. We always have ice water at the bar. Oh, wonderful! That's wonderful. And that's gonna be it for the showcase of Citrus episode. That was so much fun. The kids loved it, we loved it. I hope you guys loved it as well. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on all notifications so that you never miss an episode as soon as I upload it. And now it's time for us to go cool off by the pool. It is hot today and I didn't see a single alligator, so I don't know what's going on here, Florida. Tell me what's wrong.